Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today in this video I'm gonna talk about Windows 11 new developer build. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. So, let's begin. Currently, I'm on the latest developer build, with a build number 22483. As usual, it came up with the watermark of the build info. If you want to remove the watermark, follow the guide from the i button. With this build, 7th anniversary badges are being rolled out to Windows Insiders and Feedback Hub. Now let's have a look at, changes and improvements, fixes, and own issues respectively. Microsoft added the ability to right-click on either recommended, or the more button in start, to refresh the items shown there. This was the only change that Microsoft mentioned. Coming to the fixes, Microsoft fixed an issue that was causing search to appear black, and not display any content below the search box. Searching for display will now return display settings. Some other issues are also fixed, like, when trying to access the Linux entry for WSL, in File Explorer's navigation pane should no longer pop up an error on ARM64 PCs, saying WSL localhost is unavailable, insufficient resources exist. Fix an issue, that was causing cellular data, to not work on certain devices in recent dev channel builds. Address an issue with NTFS when the USN journal was enabled, where it was doing extra unnecessary action with each write, impacting IOA performance. Made some small improvements to keyboard navigation and screen reader usage of performance monitor. WebView 2 processes should now be properly grouped with the application using it in Task Manager's Processes tab. And also fixed an issue that was causing the publisher column in Task Manager to not retrieve publisher names. Currently, Microsoft has addressed some known issues with Windows 11, users updating from builds 22,000, or earlier, to newer dev channel builds using the latest dev channel ISO, may receive the following warning message. The build you are trying to install is flight signed. To continue installing, enable flight signing. If you receive this message, press the enable button, reboot the PC, and retry the update. Some users may experience their screen and sleep timeouts being reduced. We're investigating the potential impact that shorter screen and sleep timeouts could have on energy consumption. Microsoft is also investigating reports from insiders that the processes tab in Task Manager is blank sometimes. Microsoft is working on a fix for an issue causing some devices to bug check with system service action when updating, starting with the previous build. If hit this issue previously, try rebooting and retrying the update. Microsoft is also working investigating reports from insiders that Xbox Game Pass games are failing to install with error. In some cases, you might be unable to enter text when using search from starter the taskbar. If you experience the issue, press Win plus R on the keyboard to launch the run dialog box, then close it. The taskbar will sometimes flicker when switching input methods. Microsoft is working on the fix for an issue causing tooltips to appear in an unexpected location after hovering over the taskbar corner. After clicking the search icon on the taskbar, the search panel may not open. If this occurs, restart the Windows Explorer process and open the search panel again. Lastly, Microsoft is investigating reports from insiders that the volume and brightness sliders aren't displaying properly in quick settings. So, that was all about the latest, Windows 11 developer build from Microsoft, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any question, just comment down below, thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.